Hello YouTube, HorrorFan1 back again, showing off some of the new stuff I've gotten in the last month. It's the Animal House 30th Anniversary Delta House Edition, I would guess. It's really well done. It's oversized. Got the Delta House here with all the characters running around. Opens up. Trust me, it opens at some point in my life. It will open here. There we go opens up like that with a strong overlap point just all very very hard plastic real well nice nicely made there's the Faber College yearbook lots of pictures in it and all that kind of stuff of course featuring the guys from the Delta house there's the 30th anniversary double disc edition and it also has a th another disc in there, which is the Seen It game, all about the National Lampoon the movies. And here is the little insert that is on the back of it, telling you everything that's in it before you open the set. So that is one thing that I got. Let me show you something else that's really cool. This is. Beavis and Butthead collection, every episode and a special edition of the movie, and two bobbleheads. Got this set for $13, so even though I'm a little old for Beavis and Butthead, it's still still cool to have. And here's a really cool set I got from Germany, I believe it was. This is the B-Movie limited edition DVD collection. A little granny looking, the box looks messed up and all that. Open it up. There's an ad for the set. This is the actual set here. There's 12 movies on 12 DVDs. None of that double DVD. You know, two movies on one DVD or double-sided disc or any of that horse shit. There's 12 movies, 12 DVDs, 12 boxes come together to form, you know, the woman screaming. Everything like that. These, it's got Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Elvira, Hell Comes to Frogtown, Spiders, The Stuff, Slugs, Rats, Octopus, Creature, Crocodile, Return to Horror High, and uh, of course Night of the Living Dead. Each movie has their own individual cover, but it also says the B-Movie Collection, so you know that it came from the collection here. This is really cool. It's, I just thought this was such a pretty well done set, considering that you get 12 movies and 12 boxes for, I can't remember exactly how many euros it was, but it ended up being like $14 American, so that's just a great deal, and I would recommend grabbing this if anyone wants to get it, I believe I got it on a, the German Amazon. And now one other thing, something I never do, I bought a book called Cult Films by Will Dodson. It has six oversized posters and a 72 page book. It opens up like so, like a folder. And then you pull the book out and it's just so well like made it's got pictures and info about all the exploitation movies swamp thing uh, the trauma movies evil dead the shaft it got the exploit the black exploitation there's fulci and all that good stuff ilsa my all-time favorite girl so even some of the cat exploitation movies some of the sci-fi ones there's easy rider peter fonda best actor ever Vincent Price type stuff, and it gets into uh, Russ Meyer, or Elvira, um, John Waters, I mean, just all the great exploitation stuff, Todd Browning, this is like the coolest book, old TV shows, you can see the Rocky Horror, newer stuff, Zombie Strippers, it's just like the coolest book I ever saw, so I had to get it, and it has these six oversized mini posters, which are literally just, they're like, feel like they're photo paper glued to cardboard. They're so thick, so nice, well done. You got Faster Pussycat Kill Kill in there. Ron O'Neill Superfly. I love my black exploitation movies. House on Haunted Hill. One of the all-time greats, Eraserhead. Old looking Rocky Horror Picture Show thing. It's just really cool how old they made that look. Plan 9 from Outer Space. 
And then on the back, these are also postcards if you decide to want to send one to a friend or something, but I would never mail this because they were, no doubt they would fuck it up before whoever you mail it to gets it. But I thought the book was just ridiculously cool. And uh, I'd never seen it anywhere except this local shop. They actually had like four or five of them there. I grabbed one for myself. I might go get the others for gifts for people or maybe trade for with some people here online. But um, that's pretty much it for this one. Actually, you know what? I just thought of something else I got I want to show. Where the hell did I put them? There we go. Speaking of liking black exploitation movies, my favorite actress ever is Pam Greer. And these are MGM double features called Soul Cinema. Coffee, her best movie, Friday Foster, and they're together. Each movie has its own disc, once again, a uh, double sided shit. They have their own uh, artwork on each one, and then there's a mini poster that's different than the covers. Soul Cinema it shows a little different pictures, a little different kind of posters. They made it a little more grindhouse, black exploitation type looking thing. And there's a, evidently a bunch of ones to this set, but I've only got three so far. Here's uh, Foxy Brown and Black Mama, White Mama. Two Pam Greer ones. I get all the Pam Greer ones in another same way inside. There's two discs in the mini poster. And then the other one I got is Truck Turner and Hammer. I just recently met Fred Williamson at the Pittsburgh Horror Film Festival. Such a cool guy, such a nice guy. He autographed my original Gangsters poster. He bullshat with me. He told me about the sequel they have coming out for original Gangsters, which will be great. Uh, Poboy Productions, which he owns, will be doing that. He's just a real nice guy. Anytime you see him at a convention, you need to go talk to him. You need to get a picture off him, get some autographs. Real nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm going to show in this video. And I'm going to make one more of the coolest set I've ever bought. So, if you're watching this video, just look for my one that'll be over there on the side. That direction. Labeled, coolest set ever. Because I think it is. Okay, thank you. Horror Fan once, and enough.